Hey, we're the Kanpai guys. We Kanpai, so you don't have to. Unless you want to. Today, we're gonna look at three products from Hokkaido. Yeah, we're going up to Tater Country. Taters. Taters, Tater Country. Potatoes, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Chips them, butter them. Throw them. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> Pick these all up at a Hokkaido fair. Hokkaido potato chips made from Hokkaido potato and just salt flavor. Nice. Simple. Butter potato. So, a famous Hokkaido potato. And we have Sapporo's classic Oni Hokkaido beer. Nice, I'm excited. Well, we have quite the banquet today. We do, yeah, mm. quite the spread. Poor man's Japanese Thanksgiving. Reach the upper echelons of Japanese society. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a very small, very expensive potato that we cooked in the microwave. Yeah, let's <clears> talk <throat> about that first. It's uh, yeah, one potato. <laughs> uh, uh, potatoes, three dollars. Yeah, okay, you got our three dollar pre-buttered, packaged potato. Almost uh, had a mini nuclear meltdown in the microwave when cooking this. <laughs> As you saw before, it comes in this plastic... Like a vacuum packed plastic thing. Yeah, thing. and you put it in the microwave as it is. And as it heats up, it emits steam. It kind of expands like to yeah. like a balloon as well. It like hisses as yeah. the steam comes out. So you're not sure if your whole microwave is going to explode. Right. Right. It, okay. it looks like it's gonna just explode in the microwave. It's designed to just let a little bit of steam out. If you don't mind, know much about Hokkaido potatoes, they're like very famous. I've never had a Hokkaido potato or anything. Why do you think that is? Do you think it's like the climate in yeah. Hokkaido or the soil or? Must be something to do with that, right? Yeah. It seems like dairy products in general and like creamy things are very famous in Hokkaido, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, butter. Cream, cheese, right? Yeah, potatoes. dairy products, potatoes, seafood, seafood, crab, right? lamb, lamb, yeah, lamb, yeah. miso, miso ramen. Oh, is that famous in Hokkaido? Yeah, Sapporo miso ramen is famous. Mm. Yeah, every like prefecture in Japan tends to have like famous products. I think like probably by design. Of course, yeah, but by design, especially Hokkaido. They have a lot. Might just be their size, or I don't know. They're just flexing their muscles. <laughs> Apparently they win the best prefecture in Japan like every year. They always get like more. <laughs> There's northern snobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Hokkaido potatoes are famous. Uh, supposedly like very fluffy, like completely different to your regular potato. So this should be like already already saturated in butter. <laughs> this is a quite uh, like yellowish orange. Look at this. It has a bit of bite. It could have been cooked more, maybe. I would describe it as like crunchy, especially the skin. I don't know if that's by design or just the way we cooked it. So that was a $3 potato. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't know, dude. It's nice. I mean, I don't know if it's different to like many other potatoes. I've had like quite a lot of like buttered baked potatoes in the yeah. States. And this, <laughs> just to be honest, the like buttered baked potatoes I've had in the States are much better than this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like a supermarket version, I'm guessing. Yeah. So, right, yeah, yeah. You know, probably in a restaurant or izakaya, it's probably way better. Mm -hmm. Right, so I guess we can't really Sometimes. pass judgment on Hokkaido potatoes as no. a whole. You could probably use a little bit of salt. Yeah. Not horrible, not bad even, just... Not with three bucks on it. Yeah. I don't see why it's like marketed so highly. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do have one other potato thing here. Hokkaido potato chips salt taste. 
it's all shio aji so like lightly salted you know in japan there's always like very like detailed descriptions of the salt the potato cooking process yeah. and, you know. usually involving like some kind of natural water source so. right right yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, these are very, very lightly salted. St something like this would never even exist in, in the US. <laughs> With salt, Americans go like all or nothing. I think before on the show we talked about the uh, very old English potato chip, and I mentioned it has like a salt sachet on the pack. Mm -hmm. I mean, you have to pour the salt in yourself and mix <laughs> it around. This tastes like that before you add the salt. I gotta say these taste quite fresh. It tastes like natural potato. Mm. Like it tastes earthy. You can really taste like the soil or something, the ground that potatoes are Well, it, it tastes like, it has like the flavor of the potato skin with a very, very, very light salted. They're not very greasy, they're not very oily. No, you can like taste, you can taste they've been cooked in like some pretty high quality oil or something. Yeah, I like the flavor of potato chips, but my two main issues is they're way too oily and also way too thin or brittle. These are I think they're not thin. very oily at all. They're thin but not brittle. Yeah, they're like in between like lays and like kettle cooked. Try the beer. So this is Sapporo's classic uh, beer. Supposedly it's only sold in Hokkaido. I bought it in Ehime, so evidently not. Yeah. I don't know how true that is. I've seen this <laughs> quite a bit around Ehime. I think I've seen this in convenience store before. Yeah. Right. It might just be like a limited time. The flavor text says bracing aroma and smooth 100% malt finish. The great taste of Sapporo classic is only from Hokkaido. Pretty cool can. It does kind of look yeah. kind of classic. So I like it too. It's got a slightly Oji-san vibe. It's kind of... Got an Oji-san vibe, but also like some vintage class to it. It looks very classy. It yeah. says since 1985, so I'm assuming they started this line in the mid-80s. Yeah, the, the beer is older, right? Come back. Right. It's slightly different to the black label. Yeah. To me. Obviously the black label is much more popular than this one. That's the national brand, right? So. Yeah. So this one I think is actually older than the black label. But then the black label came out <laughs> and like exploded. Oh, so is this like the Maru F of Sapporo or something? I'd imagine so, yeah. Obviously we did it's like Asahi Maru F and now you have Super Dry. Probably so. like our parents' generation. So it's actually the Oji San Sapporo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd imagine so. Yeah, I, I like it. It is slightly more involved than the Black Label then. I think Black Label is more like one tone, whereas this, it's a bit more complex. Would you like to hear some Amazon reviews? For the beer? beer? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So I was drawn to this review from the title. A masterpiece of the North Earth was born. <laughs> the North Earth, okay. All right, Tolkien. One ring to rule them all. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> it is a beer that is limited to Hokkaido, so you must drink when you travel to Hokkaido. False. False. Yeah, I did not buy it in Hokkaido. Yeah. The taste will be divided due to a slight aroma habit. People's imp opinions might be divided based on their aroma preferences. You have studied Janglish well, Obi-Wan. I'm just really good at knowing what random vocabulary <laughs> Japanese people is. I've been teaching English for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Too long, maybe. <laughs> the good taste is a gem. You can drink without getting tired of the rich bitterness. Is it about halfway between the sharp taste of super dryish and the rich of a shrimp? The shrimp? Ibisu. Maybe. I mean, Ibisu, Ibi. Again, I'm just stabbing the dark here. Maybe they're saying it's like between Asahi Super Dry and Ibis. Ibis. Ibis is the brand uh, brand name of a beer, but Ebi is shrimp. I think so. Right. Yeah. So it could be like a weird translation. Design of the can is also well based on white and the blue character shines. I agree. Like, you know, yeah. The blue does really like stand out. I just picture this can sitting on like a luxury yacht in the 1980s. <laughs> yeah. Like bikini ladies with like 
but they've blown out here. There's like weird bikinis where they make their like hips look really wide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I envied the people who could drink this beer all the time. It may change the influence map of beer if it is deployed nationwide. It's a really delicious beer. I guess right now it's like a like limited seasonal beer across mm. Japan. Because I've seen it where we live, which is not Hokkaido. Japanese people like limited time things. It's like everything is limited, so... Why do you think Japanese people work so much overtime? Because it makes their free time limited time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> It was nice knowing you 10 subscribers that just unclicked subscribe. <laughs> Thanks for sticking with us, uh, the song. <laughs> Do one more review. There are so many drinks that can be named beer in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that the taste varies depending on the people. However, if someone asks you, I recommend this product as the best beer I know. Finishes there. This beer is really delicious with the original flavour of the beer and the refreshing ease of drinking. If you have never been drunk yet, please try it once by all means. I guess that means uh, if you've never tried it before, try it once. I prefer the translator. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that you just drink this beer and you immediately get like absolutely legless or something. That one's it. <laughs> but, you know, we have many beers in the West that do that. You know. yep. Certainly not Japanese beers do that, to be honest. You know. Yep. Yep. Just go to Belgium, like every single one does it. One of the strongest beers I've had. It's called Dogfish Head. It's a 9%. IPA, I think. I guess it's like a craft beer. I don't know. It's like somewhere between like a mainstream beer and a uh, craft beer. Half a can and then like be good for the night. <laughs> be done for the night, actually. <laughs> I don't think a beer called Dogfish Head could ever be like a national domestic mega corporation <laughs> beer to me. <laughs> Old potato. I give it a five. I was thinking four, but that's not harsh. I'm only going five because when I when I look at like a potato, I just think five. So five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to make people in Hokkaido cry. So in case they watch, I give them a five. That was some old farmer just like a tear dribbling down the street. Also, I'm not going to judge all Hokkaido potatoes on that potato. Going to Hokkaido is going to get me a real. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, just walk, walk on someone's farm and just, yep. just stick your hand in the soil and pull it up. The chips? Chips in the realm of potato chips. And seven. I was taking some. Yeah. Agreed. Sapporo Classic Only Hokkaido Beer. I'm thinking a six. I was thinking a seven or an eight because I gave Maru F an eight. And I kind of like it as much as I like that. That's a good point. But I think Maru F is slightly cheaper. I'll go, I'll go 7. I love 80s beer. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't have the dodgy, like, hotel logo. On the, top <laughs> <laughs> the can is quite cool. I'll go 7. Huh? Well done, Hokkaido. Nice. Thank you very much, Hokkaido. I've never been inside of you before, but maybe one day. I've never been inside of you either, so, but you know, there's always time. When you do go to Hokkaido, let's finish on a little question for us and our viewers. Okay. What's the thing you most want to try? Food or drink? Most want to try? Dude, cheese. Any kind of cheese. Cheese. Yeah. I'm a huge dairy person. I especially love cheese. I'm not going to because it costs like a fucking crazy amount of money. Snow crab, I guess. Okay, yeah, that's that's probably the more accurate choice, the more proper choice. But in my case, the I, budget choice is cheese. So. I I hate crab. So oh, I was a crab person. Obviously, I would say crab. We're crab people now. Crab. We're crab people now. Yes. You want us to become crab people? I'm not a huge crab person, but I just want to get like a picture of myself with like this massive crab. 
I'll, I'll take the photo. <coughs> I just want to eat it. I don't want to spend like $300 on like two crab legs. So that's what you do. You go into a restaurant that serves the snow crab. And you just uh, sit around or loiter, or, you know, whatever you want to do. Pretend to be ordering on the menu. Are we describing illegal activities? No. 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 Um, not illegal, maybe questionable. You sit around until you notice somebody else who has ordered the snow crab. Walk over and very, very subtly just take like a selfie in front of their table and try to like angle it so the family or whoever it is is like kind of out of frame so it's only you and the crab. Take the photo and you can save yourself, I don't know, how much does that cost? A few hundred dollars. Yeah. You can save yourself a lot of money and then post it on Instagram. I was thinking you, you were going to go up to them and go like, oh, that looks really delicious. And then, you know, Japanese generosity will just like give you a bit. Let's walk up to them and say, I just want it. You, uh, are you going to finish that? Got a light. I thought you were going to say like, do like the Marty McFly thing. What the hell is that? What's that over there? <laughs> <laughs> that would be illegal. <laughs> In my country, it's it's expected to you take other that? people's food. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you can get this like like this length piece of like pastry like filled with cheese or like pizza dough that they like deep fry. And just eat in the street. Whoa, dude! That sounds like like the Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Crust like that. Yeah, but just like that's like a, a spear <laughs> or something. So. Sounds awesome. Thanks for watching our Hokkaido video. If you would like to go to Hokkaido, what would you like to try? Seafood, cheese, potatoes? If you like this video, please give us a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. And please hit the bell notification icon for uh, updates when we go live or post new videos. And as always, thank you very much and we'll see you next time.